Ever since its surprise debut at the 2018 Game Awards, fans have been stoked to find out more about Mortal Kombat 11, set to be released on April 23rd of this year. That debut only offered up an epic cinematic, but now we have the first glimpse of gameplay footage thanks to the Mortal Kombat 11 reveal press conference. Now, if you didn't catch the live stream, here's what you missed. Let's start off by talking about some of the characters that were highlighted at the conference. For starters, creative director Ed Boon showed off a brand new addition to the franchise, a character named Garrus. He's a new character with time manipulation abilities, and we got to see a nice little showreel that depicted what he can do, along with his fatality, which is as wonderfully brutal as you'd expect. What else did we see? Well, fan favorite Baraka returns to this title. And check out his gruesome fatality. <laughs> yup. He rips off his opponent's face. We also got to see a reel of other fatalities, including ones from Scorpion, Scarlet, Sub Zero, and Sonya. Speaking of Sonya, the press conference revealed that a real life badass is now voicing the character in MK11, none other than Ronda Rousey, who came out on stage and talked a bit about what Sonya Blade means to her and her experience playing the character. But perhaps the coolest news when it comes to the roster of characters in Mortal Kombat 11 is the brand new customizable character variations feature. This feature allows players to customize characters with a slew of variations variations that players create. The game will allow you to create, modify, and collect multiple versions of every single fighter, customizing their gear, cosmetics, abilities, and behaviors that they do at the beginning and end of a match. Needless to say, online play just got a whole lot more visually striking. Aside from the custom character variations, Ed Boon also showed off a handful of other features that are now in the game. In battle, characters now have three meters as opposed to just one on your screen. The horizontal meter is for offensive attacks. The vertical meter is for defensive attacks. And and of course, there's still the classic top meter for health. Now, when a character hits 30% health or below, a new mechanic has now been added called Fatal Blow, which allows your character to use an incredibly strong and visually kick ass move to help balance the scales of the fight, adding a whole new dynamic to your matches. In addition to that, there's a new mechanic called Flawless Block. When you manage to pull off a perfectly timed block, it'll open up a window of opportunity for strong countering attacks for you to use. When creative director Ed Boon took the stage during the event, not only did he show off a slew of new features, but he also gave us a glimpse of the story that the game will contain. Viewers got to see the opening prologue of the game and features Raiden torturing Shinnok, beheading the Elder God to serve as warning. According to the prologue's official description, Raiden has upset the balance of history with the death of Shinnok. Tired of Earthrealm's defiance, Kronika, the Keeper of Time, will bring order to the universe through any means necessary. Boone also revealed that Kronika will be playing with time, causing characters to meet younger and older versions of themselves in the narrative. What else? Well, a special collector's edition will be available for you to get your mitts on. This collector's edition for PS4 and Xbox One includes a sweet scorpion mask, a steelbook case, a collector's box, and of course, the game. It also comes with the combat pass, something that we'll be getting more details on at the end of this month. The collector's edition is said to be going for anywhere around 150 to 300 bucks, so definitely for hardcore Mortal Kombat fans who want to bust open their wallets for that and get to wear a scorpion mask. In addition to this, the pre-order bonuses were also announced. If you pre-order the game, you'll not only get access to the beta on March 28th, but you'll also score yourself access to Shao Kahn. The standard edition pre-order will get you both of those things, but the premium edition includes something else called Combat Pack which gives you early access to characters, skins, and more MK content that is yet to be announced, although developer NetherRealms will likely start revealing more details during its upcoming weekly streams. Alright, there we have it friends, Mortal Kombat 11 drops on April 23rd of this year. Are you going to get it? Do you think it will be the best of the franchise yet? Give us a shout in those comments below and tell us what you think, and what you're the most excited for. If you dug this video, spread that love, give this video a big thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for all your video game updates, news, recaps, lists, and of course, creepypastas. In the meantime, Though. Thanks for watching, friends. I'll catch you all in the next video.